Good morning, everyone. Welcome to TLC High Five Morning Devotions. Today, I would like to share my message entitled, Do Not Harm Yourself, For We Are All Here. From Acts chapter 16, verses 25 to 31. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's bounds were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, do not harm yourself, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas and brought them out and said, Says, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved you and your household. It is true, Paul and Silas were doing the great commission assigned by God when they were put in prison for helping a girl who was possessed. But in prison, they did not despair. Instead, they prayed and sang praises to God until they received their answers. The same thing, God has entrusted you with your family to take care of. But the pandemic held the world ransom. You lost everything and you are left with responsibility without solutions. It is true you are troubled, but do not harm yourself for we are all here. We are all here to help one another and God loves us all. It is true, this, your situation, when you count your challenges, you think it's not worth living, but it doesn't change that God is God in your life and his love. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God says, for I know the plans I have for you. And those plans are not to harm you, but to prosper you and give you hope with a better future. Whatever is troubling you now does not change that God has good plans for you. So do not harm yourself, for we are all here. In John 10 verse 10, God says, the thief only come to still kill and destroy but jesus has come to give us life and life in abundance and he's promising that he has brought life so do not harm yourself for we are all here he loves us and he knows the way go to him ask all answers and he knows Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are God even at this time. I come before you. I come before the throne of grace with my brother, my sister, father, mother, and the children. You are God in every situation they are facing. Show your mighty power, O oh God. Touch lives now, O oh Father. You've spoken unto us, O oh God, that we should believe in Lord Jesus Christ and we will be saved with our families. Father, we love you. Continue showing us your mighty power. You are God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for taking charge at this time and taking care of your children. In mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. May God bless you.